Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's Women in Astronomy, we are going to talk about the astronomer Maria Clara Eimart and look at what her contributions to astronomy have been. So let's go ahead and start here. We know that uh, she lived from 1676 to 1707 and her father was an amateur astronomer and the director of the Nuremberg Academy of Art. So we see a science a tie in there as well as well as an art tie in that we're going to come back to here. Now she married an astronomer Johann Mueller and she is known to have died in childbirth. And since she died young in childbirth there is not a lot of her work left behind. So what was her astronomical work? What was she known for? Well, she was very best known for astronomical illustrations. And we see again, her father was an astronomer and was the director of the Art Academy in Nuremberg. So she had a background in both of these. And she had a lot of drawings that we'll take a look at here. And a good number of them still survive today. Now, one of the things we have to remember is we're talking the early 1700s, the late 1600s. And what that means is we're well before the era of photography. So records of any astronomical events were all done by hand. And that meant that an astronomer did have to be a bit of an artist. If you were observing something through the telescope and you wanted to record what you saw, you had to be able to draw it. You couldn't simply take a photograph. So some of the examples that we'll look at here, we can see her illustration of the moon and we can see on that the various regions of the moon. You can see the lighter and darker areas that are present and we can see the distinct craters that would only be visible through a telescope. So all of that here in this moon a little bit uh, little bit uh, round quarter phase not quite to quarter phase here but we can see those darker colors and again this is how things were recorded and while the moon doesn't change different people would interpret things differently so the most accurate that you could get was very important now she did not just observe the moon. She also looked at things like Venus. Now Galileo looked at the phases of Venus as well. But here we see some of her illustrations of Venus showing different phases of it from a very th a thinner crescent phase up to a quarter and then even past quarter phase. She observed the planet Saturn and here we see Saturn with its distinct rings and we can see the pattern that was able to be visible there. So we knew that at this point that Saturn did have a ring system. However, what we did not know was the details of it. And here we can see some of those different stages taken over time. Now the phases don't always look the same and that's because the rings are tilted. And sometimes when we look at them, uh, from the top or the bottom, we can see the entire set of rings. However, when we look at them edge on, we can see very little ring, maybe just a little bit. And you'll see in some cases there are no rings here or just a blob off to one side. And that's a matter of looking at them through smaller telescopes and the orientation of the rings. Now also one of the last things we want to look at here were her observations of comets. And here are some of her drawings of comets that she's left. And we can see the distinct head of a comet off to one side and then the tail stretching back. And as I've said, this is very important. This is how astronomy was recorded, that you had to look at something through a telescope and then draw what you saw. So her having this background in art and science from her father was very important and gave us some of these great drawings that we see today. So all of the illustrations that we look at are based on her detailed observations through a telescope. So let's go ahead and summarize a little bit about what we've learned. So we know that Maria had an interest in both astronomy and art that came from her father. She is best known for her drawings of astronomical objects and she did marry an astronomer but unfortunately died in childbirth at a relatively young age. 
So that concludes this lecture on Maria Clara Imart. We'll be back again next time to discuss another woman in astronomy. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.